Hello, welcome to part two. The next one I got is, I think my mum got this for me, it's my birthday in 24 days. And she got me this as an early birthday gift. And it's Michael Jackson's This Is It. And it's, it's basically just footage of the concert. And Michael Jackson, you know, the ones that Michael Jackson was doing before he died. And this is what he did. And there's one thing I don't get about this. On the BD exclusive, it says it most has the thriller and smooth criminal vignette presented in 5.1 audio. When I click on the thriller vignette, it just has it has a bunch of prison guards wearing this is it t-shirts performing they don't really care about us. I expected the thriller vignette. I did not expect that. And this is just footage of the concert that they would have, you know, there was actually going to be behind the scenes material on the CD that they would have brought out if Jackson went easy on the Pro Bowl. And, and this really goes to show, like, this shows you how Michael Jackson works. I didn't really get to do a full review of it because the Cinemaniacs review I did of it was just, you know, 9% of me yakking on about how people should shut up about Michael Jackson's death and 10% on the film. And the film was good, it was okay, 5 out of 5, and it, ch this here, it, it's in 1080p high definition and in a 1781 one aspect ratio, and it changes aspect ratios throughout the film, some of it was in standard quality, some of it was in high definition, and it, this goes to show you that Michael Jackson really did come back. He really did come back, and and that people liked him again after all the time when the publicists were giving him crap. So I'm going to show you uh, what it has here. This is his disc. Here we go. We have something about Sony. And here is a 23, I think, you know, like, this here is a little booklet you can take out. Check it out. Check it out. I'm trying to go fast with these. And that's what the uh, booklet looks like. Although, good film, great features, this goes to show that Buck Jackson really did come back. And the next one I got is The Invention of Lying. And this is one of the films that Ricky Gervais has done. It's one that he directed. And this is the, um, basically it's about a world where nobody knows how to lie. And everybody in this world tells the truth. And say if you're on a date with an ugly girl, and she asks you how you look, and you go, Oh, you look beautiful. You're stunning. 
You would not say that in a world without lying. You would just say everything you felt about them and you didn't hold anything back. So you like go, oh you're ugly, you're stupid, nah, never date you again, not even having a good bad kiss. And it's basically risk your face He's a fat loser, he never succeeds, and he goes to the bank because he got fired from his job and he has to withdraw all of his money. And the computer's down and he knows he has like, you know, 300 quid in his bank account. And just like, and then just like that, he can lie. He's like, uh, 800 please. And he uses like this, he uses his um, new ability to make up loads of lies and to get his job back and to make people feel better than themselves. Although he takes them out too far when his mum's dying in hospital and he invents this nice place to go for us to go to after she dies so she basically it's just it's like the concept of religion telling everybody there's this man who lives in the sky and Ricky Gervais he does like I like the office the films he's done like Ghost Town and I've never watched the office or the um the film or the uh, the US version of The Office. I've never seen that. And Richie Ray, he does funny. He's really funny. And the next and the last one I got is um Up in the Air. Starring Jason Reitman. As George Clooney, he's been hired to jet around the world in a plane just to fire every, all of his employees during the recession so it's like he's firing them and he sort of strikes up a relationship with Vera Farmiga's character and they hit it off he also has an appearance from uh, Zach Galifianakis who you may know from The Hangover which is one of the best films ever The Hangover is awesome and it's also a good film. So check it out. I am I have not seen Thank You for Smoking, I have not seen Juno. But it is a good film. George Clooney did a really good acting. I hope he wins an Oscar for it. So um check that out. Anyway, that's my um DVD update. And I'll see you in uh, two months with another update. It's my birthday soon, so I'll be getting money maybe some presents, there might be DVDs, so I'll be able to get a couple of DVDs before May, the May 1st DVD update, so, bye, please, the Cinema Man signing out, please rate, comment, and subscribe, thank you, you've been a real help.